Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Snuff Harbor Crafts. in the middle of doing a ton of chalking with Chalk Couture. And I've done a whole bunch of projects and I thought, you know what? I should video this for you guys to see. Um, I've made a whole bunch of things that you can see, a whole bunch of ornaments. Let me grab a couple. I think they have turned out darling. Look at these darling ornaments. Now I'm gonna put, these are just chalked. And then I'm going to put some greenery on them and I'm going to put uh, Christmas on it. Look at this one. Is that cute? I just think they turned out really cute. And then on the back of them, I'll, we'll say, we're gonna give them to our neighbors. We'll sign, I'm gonna sign them with an ink pen. This is a chalk couture ink pen. I believe I've got, here's my black. I'll sign the back of it, Merry Christmas 2019, the Bernheisels. So um, I'll show you the finished product, but I'm gonna put a little bit of greenery up here and I'll put a bow and a little bell. Um, and so I'll do that with a, a hot glue, but I don't know. I just think these turned out really, really cute. Let me show you the red. Oh, these are cute. These are the candy stripe. These are all chalk couture transfers that I have used. Um, I have used this um, mini uh, buffalo check. I've used it and used it and used it. I cut it up. I've just, I've really, really enjoyed it. Let me see. Oh, and then I took some of the tree patterns. This was kind of fun. I took this transfer. I'll show you the transfer. I took this transfer, which is for the trees. And I put it on this ornament. So I thought that was really cute. And then the other one I should show you, or I did. I showed you this one. This one is specific for the ornaments. It was a transfer that came specifically for the ornaments. But I, I just think they're all so cute. I think I'm just thrilled with the way they turned out. So I will show you the end product on that. But as you can see, I probably chalked 24 of these tonight. I've also done um, some other things, but um, I'm going to show you tonight, I'm going to do two tea towels, and I'm thinking about doing a, a pillow, um, and I, and I just, but I don't know what colors, and so I, I'm hesitant, but I think I'm going to do it. It's this darling one that says sleigh rides, and I'm thinking maybe I'll just do it all in green. I don't know, but anyway, we're going to do a couple of tea towels. I have, um, some secretaries in our school that are so wonderful. And so I thought maybe a tea towel would be, I'm giving the teacher something else, more teacher oriented. So I thought I would do the tea towels with Joyful on them for the secretaries. So let me turn, now that you've, I've said hi, um, I will turn you down to my surface here, okay. All right, so I am going to use, I believe, I decided I'm gonna use the apple, candy apple red in the ink. This is not the paste, this is the ink. And then I'm gonna use, what is this? This is meadow um, for the swirls. I'll do joyful in red and meadow. I, I thought about gold. I don't know, you guys, shimmer gold. I don't know, I'm gonna stick with red and green. Um, this is the ink. The reason we're going to use the ink is because then I will heat set it and we'll be able to, you can wash it, okay? And I've had really good luck. I've done, you've probably seen me do this before, but I thought this might be a good one to do tonight. Um, just a fun thing for the holiday season. I don't know, now I'm going back and thinking I should do the gold. I don't know. Whatever, we're gonna go with green and red. Okay, I'm gonna do, I've cut up a little squeegee here, and I'm gonna start with some green up on these swirls. And I'm gonna leave it on fairly thick because it's gonna take me a minute to chalk. I could peel it back, but I kinda don't wanna do that on fabric. So I'm just gonna leave it kinda thick. I'll come back and clear some of this off after I get the, uh, 
and this won't take me too long, but it'll take me a minute. It kind of soaks in because I'm using a, um, a, a cloth. I've got a tea towel down here. It kind of soaks in. But also, I find that the ink is much more, um, what's the word? It's not, I don't want to say runny, but it's thinner. It's thinner than the uh, chalk, the, the paste. Okay, and, and I don't know why that is. I'm sure it has something to do with the chemistry of it um, and why it can be heat set. Um, and so, uh, but I like to work with it. I think it's great. Sometimes I even use it when it doesn't need to be inked, but I, I like the, the feel of it on the, the way it goes on. I think it's really, it's really good. So that didn't go on quite as thick. Maybe I'll just put a little thickness on there just so it doesn't dry out. We don't want it to dry out. That's our deal, okay? So there's that. Now we're gonna go back to the green and do the swirls down here. Oh, I think this will be cute, the red and the green, kind of traditional, which I tend to be. Um, but I do like to use the gold now and then. Are you able to see? Yep, you can see. I can't, I can't look up at my, got a little bit of red on there, but that's okay. Um, I think it will look really cute. So what I'll do is, is I'm going to do this and I'm going to do another one. Um, uh, but I think I'll use a different uh, transfer. I might use, I'm just going to take a little bit of this off now because we're to the point that we can lift it. Let's see what happens. It's getting a little dry at the top, so I want to, I also have to be careful on cloth that I don't get my fingers yucky. Oh, that's cute. I like that a lot. I hope you guys like it. Can you see that? Let's go like this. Here, I know. I'll lift it up. I really like it. I got a little bit right over here that I think I'm going to, darn it, let me get a paper towel. If I do it right now, I think I can I should have shown it to you first and then. If you get it while it's wet, um, it'll come right up. Now, the other thing I should have told you as I walk away, don't mind me, let me just. I did this on a chalk couture surface. It's a, uh, it's a mat, it's an ink mat, so that it's sticky. It's, if any of you guys use a Cricut, it's like a Cricut mat. And it has a stickiness to it, so that when I lay my transfer down, it, this doesn't move, okay? So let me pull this up. Oh, got it a little bit towards the... But can you see how that's just a little bit sticky? And then here is the towel this way. But I love that. I think that's really cute. Okay, so I will let this dry. I got a little bit too much of wetness going over to that green. But after it dries completely, I will take a, um, a Q-tip and just clean that up just a little bit. But I really quite like, I love the colors. I think the colors turned out really cute. The sleigh ride transfer on this fun velvet it's a velvet uh, pillow cover, pillowcase cover. Uh, it, it's just a decorative one. It feels wonderful. But I need to decide what color I'm going to use. So I am going to turn this off for a second and make that decision. And then I will show you, come back and show you how we use the sticky mat inside of this and then put the ink on. Okay, you guys, I need to do another tea towel before we do a pillow. So I'm gonna do this merry and bright. Um, I'm going to use the gold on this one, on the bright. Um, ideally, you'd use white if you were on a black surface, right? And I'm going to use the red and maybe a little green. We'll see, all right? So I'm going to do Mary and red, bright, Mary, red, and maybe do some of the ornaments in green and do these little stars right here in gold. So um, I'm excited. This will be cute. This, so this is an, just another tea towel. I've got it on the, the ink mat right here. You can't see it because it's too far up. So let's move it down for a minute. 
I've got it on my chalk couture ink mat. These are wonderful. Honestly, I don't know how you do something on cloth without them. Merry, then bright, and then some green for the for the ornaments, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Let's get Mary done. Cute. I really do love the way that this ink goes on. It's very smooth and it tends to stay smooth. The chalk um, gets a little bit thick in the, um, you know, if, if you leave it, I have to add water sometimes. I don't think I've ever added water to this. Let's do and, I'm just gonna be silly. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do and in green just for fun. Just to add a little. And what if I did one of these ornaments green? I should have done, oh well. Do an ornament green. And then I might do that one red. Let's do the gold. We'll get the gold on the bright. I think this is gonna be cute. Oh, I love that gold. The gold looks really nice. And I'm gonna put the gold on those little stars. Try not to get any on that. Let's get a little teeny bit there. Love those little stars. But I gotta be careful around that. I should have maybe used a smaller. But I think we'll be okay. Okay, there's bright. There's the stars. Oh, missed a little spot. Sometimes you got to go back and see if you missed anything. Okay, and then I'm going to do, oh, let's do uh, this guy gold. Because he's kind of up there. And then let's do this guy red. What do you think? I kind of like that. We kind of spread out the colors there. Go over. Okay, I like that. All right, let's peel and reveal. I think this one's gonna be cute. Oh, very cute, very cute. Oh, I like that a lot. <laughs> Merry and bright, that's a cute tea towel for Christmas. Okay, let me move this so I don't get it on. Let me get a thing to clean that up because I'm such a mess, honestly. Okay. Push this over. Let me see if I can pull this up and let you see it this way. Merry and bright. Bring it back here. That's cute. It isn't showing up quite as bright, and it's dark here. It's late at night, and I don't have the best light right now, but that's a cute one. I love that a lot. I love the colors, the gold, the red, the green. That's a cute one. Okay. I'm thinking of doing this, the trees. I'll tell you exactly what it's called. This transfer is called Holiday Tree Pattern. Now this, in fact, let me just move this because this is this ink is, is for that very purpose of getting a little bit of ink on it. So Holiday Tree Pattern. If I did this, I thought, you know, I could, we could leave it up through January. I even thought about doing I even thought about doing a blue, but I think I'm going to do um, the green. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this away and I'm going to show you this particular. Here is the, the um, pillow cover. Where's the zipper? I got these off of Amazon, you guys, and they're velvet and they are so soft. Now, I need to get this inside of here. Okay, and this is the large, um, it's 17 by 17, it's the ink mat. So what I need to do is take the protective covering off of it, but I'm going to keep that so that I can put it back on. But I need to sort of roll this like this. Did you see what I did? I just sort of folded it in half. I wonder if I did it the other way. It would be better. Yep, probably that would be better. 
So back to back instead of the front because it wanted to stick. And I'm going to bring it in here to this pillow, maybe. Oh, and I, I should decide which side. I, I would say that would be the side, which side I wanted to ink on. Because this zipper is not the biggest, this is difficult. It's got a smaller opening, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. This would fit in just fine, but the, the, the zipper part is pretty... It's not doesn't go all the way across the 18 by 18 pillow. And I need this to go in because I'm going to use the whole um, transfer, which will be as big as this pillow. Or, or close to it. So I'm just fitting this in. Yes. Okay, now. It's going to be on this side. That side is sticking to my front, okay? And it makes it, I could have ironed this, and I typically would have, I'm an ironer, but actually when you get this in, I wanna make sure this is flat. It really, it really looks good, okay? So I've got my ink mat inside. Now, I'm gonna get my trees. This is just, I've never done this, so it's just an experiment, but I think, Oh, you could you know what I could do I could do it all in gold that would be kind of pretty because this particular pattern has these little stars and I don't want to do stars in gold and trees in green I'm gonna either do the whole thing green or the whole thing gold and I'm thinking to myself that if I did it in gold it wouldn't be quite as seasonal, maybe? I don't know, you guys. This is a tough decision. Oh, brother. I think I'm going to do it in gold. And on the back, holiday tree pattern. Again, I'm doing this so that I know what side the transfer goes on. This is more paper. The other side that the transfer is on is slicker so that it doesn't take away from the um, stickiness of the transfer. Okay, I didn't put an N pattern. Okay, you guys, this is a big transfer, so you kind of want to be careful. You don't want it to fold back upon itself. I don't need to fuzz it because it's going on to um, fabric. If it were going on to wood or any other surface, I would need to fuzz this. But because it is not, I can put it directly down onto my pillow. Now, I need to get it so that it is at least fairly centered here. Oh, I think the gold might be pretty. I don't know. Let me put that down there. Okay, let's try this again. I'm sorry I don't have better light. Do I have, I've got all my lights on. You guys, it's like pitch black outside and... So this isn't a, the greatest time, but let's see. From edge to edge, oh. Probably doesn't make that much difference, but I'd like it to be as equal as it can be. Okay, now those are kind of going off. How do I feel about that? I guess they're just gonna have to. Okay, if I do this in gold, hmm. I may use my real large squeegee, my large, large chalk couture squeegee, which is like this, because I need to get it over it. I wish I could do the gold and the green, but I just, it won't, I, I won't, it won't work very well, I don't think. Let's do gold. Okay. What the heck? We can buy some more if we don't like it, but I just thought this might be kind of fun in my living room and in all gold. Okay, so here we go. We've got our gold. I'm going to use um, the multi-tool. I could use a, I could also use a larger squeegee. That might be better. I'm going to use a larger squeegee just to get some out and put it along the top because I'm going to try and drag it down with that big giant squeegee, um, but I'm going to need quite a bit because this is a giant surface. Um, let's see, 
Let's see how far that will get me. I should move down so you can see. This goes really fast when you use this and it's going pretty well. I'm actually getting pretty far down. I'm gonna go on the sides here, grab those in, and I'm not, I'll have to use a smaller squeegee up there. Ooh, I think this might be kind of pretty. I don't know. You guys, I did get a little bump right there, darn it. Um, okay, let's get a little more down here. Just a little, not quite enough. And then maybe go like that up there, just where those smaller, just to finish off that top. Okay, and then let's try and finish this bottom. Can you see? Yep, you can still see me. Now this is hard because I'm on a seam right here. So it's difficult to get it to stay down. Like if it were just a flat surface, it would be better. Let's go like that, give myself a little more gold. Um, let me hold it there. Am I, am I putting, no, I think you can see. Okay, and then we're gonna go right there and I need to get some right there. Uh, let's try this. That's just, uh, on a seam again, is hard. And I don't know how much that will pick up because it's on a seam. But let's see. Okay, I really used, there's really not much to take off of that. Let me clean off that and just take a swipe right there. And right here, the rest really, um, okay. Of course I made a huge mess and I don't want this to get on it. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Okay, I gotta peel, peel this off. Well, okay, you guys, what do you think? Ah! Oh. Okay, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, I am like way thrilled. <laughs> I had no idea. And it's so pretty, look. Oh, you guys, I wish it would pick up the, you know, it's a sparkle. Isn't that, I love that. I'm really glad I went with the gold. I'm just wishing that there was, if I, if I pull back, there's a better light on it. Isn't that pretty? Now, I can't pull out the mat until I let it dry. And again, remember, I need to heat set this. Oh, that is a pretty pillow, okay? That's a pretty pillow. I will have to take a picture of it at the end after I put the insert in it. But I am thrilled. I hope you guys like that. Oh my gosh, I love it. I could, I should do one for my bedroom. That would be fun. Okay, you guys, we did a pillow. We did some tea towels. I showed you um, the, the ornaments that I made. And I, you know, I've just been here tonight doing this and I've gotten 24 ornaments done, two tea towels and a really pretty um, pillow. I'm so glad I did this. I was scared because you know, it's big, but it's like, oh my heck, it was no big deal. You saw me just bada bing, bada boom. Okay, you guys, I hope that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that you're chalking some things honestly for Christmas. I could do it every day and just chalk a million things. I've just had so much fun. Um, I have things up hanging up in my kitchen that I've done and um, I love them. I really do. I love them. And I hope that if you're interested in Chalk Couture that you'll get a hold of me. There will be a link down below, but basically it's www.chalkcouture, I believe, .com backslash Snug Harbor to um, either buy things from me or become a designer. If you're interested in becoming a designer, um, you get everything at 40% off. Uh, you do pay $19 a month because they maintain a website for you so that you people can buy from you as well, but you also get a transfer every month that is, it's a, worth $19. And the transfers are, 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 are unique each month and um, the only way you can get them is if you're in the Club Couture or you are a designer. I, 
the pack that you get if you start as a designer is well worth the money um you can do it for three months and see what you think or you can just purchase from me on my website and the uh all of the stuff will be sent to you um i love it it's a great it's a great product and it's so simple it is so simple and so beautiful in the end so you guys thanks for sticking with me tonight and i will try to get some other chalk couture videos up in the future i hope you have a merry christmas bye